Hello friends. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I will tell you 10 people who died because of clothes. So let's get start. The number 10 is. Flammable bathrobe. On a chilly February morning in 2009, 81-year-old Evelyn Rogoff had a hankering for green tea. Little did she know that she would never get a chance to drink it. As she reached across the stove, the chenille bathrobe she was wearing grazed the electric burner and caught fire one because of the flammability of the garment, Evelyn rapidly became engulfed in flames. Her husband Murray quickly intervened and tried to put out the fire, but his clothes caught alight, too. Their daughter entered the home to find both her parents ablaze and doused them with water to extinguish the kitchen inferno before rushing them both to the hospital, Evelyn spent six weeks at the University of California. San Diego Burn Center before succumbing to her injuries. She had suffered third-degree burns over 30% of her body. Even more tragically, Murray passed away from a heart attack several months later. There has since been a recall on the deadly garment by the manufacturer, Blair Corporation. The company's bathrobes have been blamed for nine deaths nationally. The number nine is High Heel Stumble. In 2012, a neighbor was shocked to find a young woman unresponsive in the stairwell of his Lower East Side walk up in Manhattan. At first it appeared that she had just fallen over and urinated on herself, but after rolling her over, he found her face covered in blood and a large gash on her neck. When first responders arrived, they identified the young woman as Carlisle Brigham, who had been staying with a friend who lived in the apartment too initially, police thought she had been slashed due to the gash on her neck and the large amount of blood. A subsequent autopsy revealed that her death was accidental rather than a homicide. It was believed to have been instigated by her high-heeled shoes. The combination of very high heels and a slippery marble staircase proved fatal. She apparently tripped and fell down the steep flight of stairs, shattering her chin and opening the wound on her neck in the process. The medical examiner ruled that her death was consistent with a fall down the stairs. Assassinated by Brazier. As hard as it may be to believe, this happened in 2015. Christina Bond, aged 55, was carrying her handgun in a bra holster. There are a variety of options for women's concealed carry that have become popular in recent years, including purse and bra holsters. This particular holster attaches to the front of the bra, concealing the gun between the breasts via a strap that attaches to the clamshell holster itself. Three Bond was having trouble with her bra holster. As she was trying to adjust it to improve the fit, she somehow got the gun turned around toward her face as she was looking down at it. The gun discharged, shooting her in the eye. She was airlifted to Kalamazoo Hospital, where she died the following day. Experts believe that she must have either dislodged the gun from the clamshell or somehow got her finger near the trigger while adjusting in order for this event to have even been possible. <laughs> Number 7 is Fiery Crinolines Crinolines were all the rage in the 19th and early 20th centuries. An alternative to wearing thick petticoats, crinolines were an almost cage-like garment that helped keep the giant skirts of the period in their intended shape. Besides being responsible for flipping awkwardly when ladies did not sit with the utmost care, Crinolines were responsible for an estimated 3,000 deaths during the height of their popularity for. But perhaps the most dangerous aspect of crinolines was their extreme flammability in a time when fires in the kitchen and the parlor were common. 
just one of the many women burned alive when their crinoline caught fire was 16-year-old Emma Musson, who was burned to death when a coal from the kitchen fireplace rolled onto her dress. She was consumed in the ensuing blaze. Unfortunately, deaths like this were happenstance in the mid-late 19th century. <laughs>
she is perhaps known best for her tragic death. The way Duncan died became so associated with her that in subsequent years, individuals succumbing to injury or death in a similar manner have been diagnosed with long scarf syndrome, also referred to as Isadora Duncan syndrome. The number two is Combustible nightgown In what has often been considered a possible case of spontaneous human combustion, the death of Mary Reeser not only reminds us to be careful while smoking indoors but also that sedatives and cigarettes don't mix. Little of her body was found because it was virtually cremated in her living room, although little else burned. On a summer evening in July 1951, Mary Reeser of St. Petersburg, Florida, took two second all, a heavy sedative, before retiring to her armchair for the evening. She then lit a cigarette. While heavily sedated, her acetone nightgown and robe caught fire. All that was found were one of her feet, a piece of her skull, and the springs of her chair. Though many still suspect that she may have spontaneously combusted, it is generally accepted that her nightgown caught fire and that her body fat ignited, causing her to be destroyed almost immediately. The number one is Strangled by laundry in perhaps one of the strangest cases in recent years, a man was strangled to death by his clothes horse. Brian De Pledge, father of two, was found dead in his home in 2011. It appears he tripped over a footstool and fell backward, and his head and neck became trapped between the rungs of the clothes horse, which collapsed on top of him. Authorities have stated that he appears to have struggled to free himself which only caused the clothes horse to clamp down harder around his neck. In addition, the clothes on the uppermost rungs were still wet, which added extra weight to his head and neck. The coroner, who stated that someone is more likely to be struck by a meteorite than to experience such a freak death, verified that De Pledge had fluid in his lungs consistent with death by asphyxiation. 10 Talk about a killer wardrobe. Thanks for watching video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.